Okay, guys, welcome back. We're doing the collections. The first one is the control collection. We'll just jump straight into this. Um, I'm recording this right after I've done the case, and the case left me leaving a little bit disappointed. I wanted more. I wanted better skins. So let's have a look at these. Now, obviously, we're starting at the the very low tier ones first, and I will take that into account when judging the skins. Um, it's an XM. Don't really use this skin at all. Uh, the gun at all. And this skin, Charter, I'm assuming it's supposed to be like a map. It's very dull. Um, but it's, you know, grey tier, so it's alright. There's way better XMs out there, let's be honest. I'm going to go through these pretty quick, because I feel like I'm going to repeat myself on most of them. They're always very low tier skins that, you know, you're going to get just cannon fodder after playing maps and shit. So, Surveillance... It's for the Org. Obviously, way better Org skins out there, although the Org always has the issue with this part of the gun typically being excluded from most skins. Some of them do have it on, though. Color schemes, definitely not for me. That would be a pass. MP9, Army Sheen. There's actually a few Army Sheen skins in the game. They're not bad. If you went for, like, a, a forest or, um, like, an Army-style inventory i know some people actually have then you could add this to the mark it's not bad and like the mp9 is definitely a gun that gets used quite a lot i think in terms of a gray that's probably about as good as you can really ask for so that's that's a solid skin to be fair p250 forest knight is another one this looks very clean actually most of these kind of skins have a lot of missing paint on especially on the p250s and um I actually really like this. I've got to be honest. If this was stat track, I would I would even contemplate picking it up. But obviously the collections can't have stat tracks on them unless that's changed in this operation, which I doubt it has. So, yeah, pr pretty impressed with uh with that skin for it being grey. Jungle dashed. I swear there's already a CZ that looks very like this, but I can't remember what it is. Um, not bad. If you put that with like a Safari mesh or something, it would actually look pretty nice. But, not really that bothered on it. The bronze mate. Isn't there literally a deagle skin that is almost identical to this, just not the camouflage pattern on it? I swear there is. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a bronze desert eagle, which is engraved or something, and it looks so similar to this. This feels really lazy to me. Like, why would you not go... And, and, you know, rock the boat out and try and go for something different. I don't understand. Like, why? Is it just the bronze deco? I don't get it, dude. Like, this is... The collection, for me, should be where you get skins that are a little bit out there. And that are purposely going to be very hit or miss. I feel like this is just way too safe and way too boring. Like, who who gives a shit about this skin? Really? Who sat there super happy that they've included the Bronze Desert Eagle? Switchboards. So, something like this. Right? I personally think these are pretty cheeks. But at least it's a bit different. At least it's a bit different. Corinthian. Yeah, Corinthian is what I was thinking about. Would never play with these. They're cheeks. But it's different. I can respect it. Ooh, Nitro. I personally love the Nitro skins. Uh, I think there's a Nitro CZ and an M4A1S in the game right now. And the A1S is very, very old school. And I've always thought the Nitro skins were fucking banging. I reckon this is actually a pretty damn good skin. And I like, I like that there's not much orange on it, actually. I like this skin a lot. I'm not gonna lie. This is far better... This here, the blue Nitro, you will need to get a low float on it though, because Nitro typically has tons of scuff marks on it. That's another reason why I like there's not much orange. Um, this Nitro here, this MP5 skin, is far better than the one in the case. This is way better than the one in the case. It's not even close. This is a really nice skin. I am a big fan. Definitely the best in the collection thus far. This is a fucking blue. This should be grey tier. No, fuck that. This should be like wood tier. This is shit. 
This is absolute cheeks. Not only does it look a bit like a swag, in the sense it has the same colour scheme, it just doesn't have swag on the side of it. It's so dull. Who cares about the carbon fibre fucking Mag7? Does anyone in chat, be honest, does anybody here want to get this skin? I just realised my green screen's fucking up, but whatever. Reuse basic shit. Exactly. Why is this in the collection? I get it's cannon fodder. But do something different, please. It's worse than game as well. Brilliant. Global offensive. Oh, so it's like the map. Okay. You know what? I actually like this skin. I didn't think I would. But an M4 blue control collection. It looks clean. It's different. The color scheme's different. It's not just reused garbage. You know what? This is a fucking good skin. For me, this entirely encapsulates what should be a blue tier collection skin. It should be usable, it should be for a decent gun, and it should be different. And this ticks all the boxes. I actually like this skin, and it's growing on me the more I look at it. Threat detected. I mean, the, the colour scheme's obviously dog shit, right? Can we all just agree? It's... This ain't it. Um, but again, as I mentioned before, it's different. And I could imagine some people will look at this skin and actually really like it. The orange look, the yellow... Sort of, um, yellow inventory could maybe fit with this to a degree. The white scope is different. I personally don't like it. But I can respect that it's different and it's trying something unique. Rather than just another blue scout skin. Yeah, this ain't it for me either. But I could see why some people would look at this and think, yeah, that's interesting enough, I'll use that. P2000 Dispatch. I think we can just move on, can't we? Do I have to say anything? Oh, fucking hell, I wish I hadn't moved on. Magna Carta. So, Auto Sniper. Very low resolution. I get it, it's about the Magna Carta. Right, understood. So you have that old school kind of art style. But the colours just don't work. And it's for a garbage gun. And it looks really low resolution. Prime Conspiracy. I mean, let's be real here. When it comes to collections, you're probably only going to get two or three usable skins that people are really into. And it's typically going to be the, the, the top end, the reds and the pinks, right? The rest of them are pretty much just skin fodder. So that Nitro was actually the exception to the rule. That Nitro was legit. This is all right, but the FAMAS always has the same issue. I always say this every time that I go through these videos. The FAMAS always has tons of paint missing on this part of the gun. Without fail, there's very few that don't. And so even if you got a very good float on this, look how much paint is missing on the skin. It looks garbage. In terms of like a factory new skin, it's, it's like shiny and stuff. And there's this uh, interesting kind of idea with the patterns of the colors, I guess. But the thing that will always hold back from our skins for me is when it has tons of missing paint. I just can't, I can't use them. I don't think it's a bad skin, and again, it is something different. You know what this reminded me of straight away? Um, if you guys know Rage Against the Machine, they made an album called Renegades, and it reminds me of the artwork on Renegades. That's the first thing that popped into my head when I saw the color scheme and like, just the general look of it. Because this kind of looks like an A to me. I don't know. Just my brain, it's weird. 5-7. Okay, berries and cherries. I like this. Fuck yeah. Super simple, super basic, and it's combining almost a case-hardened blue gem on one side with the candy apple on the other. 
So you have a candy apple 5.7. They're extortionately expensive, by the way. And then you have, like, this case hard and blue. You have this blue and red, CT and T. No missing paint. Looks clean as fuck. I would actually pick one of these up, guys. This is great. I really like this. I like how simple it is. It'll probably look really good in game as well. Fuck yeah. Yeah, fire and ice. I'm on board with this, boys. This is, especially for a collection skin, I think this is very, very good. This is high quality. Crime scene. See, this is what it's all about. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, I would never buy this skin. I would never use this skin. I wouldn't do it. But the amount of work and effort that's gone into this skin, and it's drastically unique and different. Look at the color scheme. It's all over the place, but somehow it kind of works. I love blue. I love uh, black and purple together, by the way. It's my favorite combination. It's a shame it's only on the handle. But the overall theme of it is great. It looks like it's high quality. It has very little missing paint. It's drastically different to pretty much anything else in the game. Um, this is a great skin. I just wouldn't use it myself. I can absolutely respect this. And this is what collection skins should be about as far as I'm concerned. So this is, this is great, but it, it ain't for me. Hey, Kunhata, thanks, mate. And it just fits really well. Yeah, it, this is spot on. This is a great idea. Whoever made this skin, well fucking done. Ooh, blue phosphor. Holy shit. This is like sapphire for M4A1S. Oh my god. If this looks this good in game, this is god tier. The only thing holding it back, in my opinion, is it doesn't have stat track. But this is like hot rod, right? You have a <clears throat> you have the A1S hot rod and it's basically all red. And then this is basically the blue version of the hot rod. But this is sick. I really like this skin. I just hope that it's this good in game. You got a bit of missing paint down here in the magazine. The same kind of areas where the hot rod has missing paint as well. This will be a very low float by the way. I doubt many many of them will look this good too boring the thing is even though there's not much going on the skin i actually like plain skins a lot and for me this is spot on and it would fit very well with my gloves and my knife so i would even contemplate picking this up the only thing that works against it as i said before is it's not stat track but it's very very good very very impressed with that target acquired What do I think about this skin? You know, I'll say I'll say this much. When I saw it here, I thought, holy shit. My first impression was like, oh my god. This is going to be amazing. I thought it'd be more purple, right? I thought it was going to be like purple and black. I can't tell if I like this skin. This is like, I'm really on the fence about it. On the one hand, I kind of like the color scheme. On the other, I think it's just too messy. I don't even know what's going on on it. I also don't like that it's just random blue here. I almost would wish it was like pink and darker sort of colors everywhere on the skin and none of this blue stuff around. It just feels too messy. I also assume that's part of the randomized pattern. And if you looked at a lot of USPs, they would look different. I think that's probably going to be part of the, the allure and, and part of the gimmick with this skin. If I had to guess, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they all look like this. Um, yeah, the new case is out and the new operation. And we just went through the new case. Uh, it's... I, I think if this was a blue or a purple, I would be a fan. Because it's pink, I'm not really on board. I think it's going to be too rare and too expensive. But, as I said before, it's something very different and unique, and I'll always uh, appreciate that. It's not just reused garbage. Like that Mag 7. Fucking hell. Um, it is something- they tried- they tried something different, and I can- I can give them points for that one. I wouldn't pick it up myself, though. 
And people already told me about this. It's the AWP fades, and obviously everyone's gonna nut in their fucking pants regarding this skin. Uh, all fade skins are criminally overrated. I'm not saying it's bad. I think the fade skins look pretty good. But people absolutely lose their shit over fades. It does look super clean. And this is going to be mega, mega expensive. This is going to be absurdly expensive. And definitely not worth the price. But in terms of a skin taken out of context, like, you know, you just take it away, and, like, objectively speaking, it's a good skin. It's really nice. And if this was, like, 50 to 100 pounds, I would probably pick one up. But it's not going to be 50 to 100 pounds. It's going to be, like, a 1,000. Maybe even more. So, and again, you have no stat track options. Overall, the collection, the high points were the Nitro MP5, the M4 is brilliant, and the 5.7. For me, those three skins are the high points. The UMP is good, but not for me. The Fade is good, but not for me, and it'll be stupidly expensive. The USP is pretty decent, and the M4 is good as well, actually. I forgot about the M4. So, um... Yeah, overall the collection, I actually preferred the collection to the case itself. Which is sad. It's really sad. But that's the world that we live in. So that's the control collection done. We'll be moving on to the Havoc collection next, but that'll be in the next video, guys. So I'll see you there.